Oh, hello, and welcome to Shit of the Week. It's not really a Shit of the Week, it's a bit different today. I'm with Dino, my friend. Hello, say hello, Dino. Hello? Wait, wait what did you say? Hello, huh? this is the Shit of the Week. <laughs> Fuck off. Today we're going to be looking at a Twitter page. Dark <laughs> Psychology, Dating Master, Master Attraction, Charm, Female Psychology, and Seduction. This is something that was recommended to me by Dino himself, so he'll Wait, know see, all I, about this. I, see, I follow like a bunch of these uh, quotes unquote date on ma dating masters who are like Andrew Tate-esque, but not as good as Andrew Tate. Because at least with Andrew Tate, right, he's full of shit. We all know he's full of shit. But you can justify it because he's jacked and rich and tall. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, yeah. There's, like, you look at that guy and you're like, he's brimming with confidence. But these guys who are, like, running these accounts where it's like, I'm going to teach you top 10 ways to make her absolutely explode. Are, like, five foot two manlets with a patchy beard. And you think to yourself, and that's not going to work for you, bro. It works for him. Hey, I'm five four, man. No, you're fucking not. I am. I'm five four. No, you're <laughs> not, Charlie. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> well, I, it's a very handsome age. I want to start by saying, right? Why is it all these people are always bold? That's What's a good that point. They're always bold. It's like, do you have to have no hair to speak to women? Uh, is that is that a thing? I don't think you have to have no hair, but I think it's because you're so, you're so, uh, what's the word they always use? You're so based that your brain literally is so smart that it's melting your hair away. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you reckon they have no pubes as well? That's Do you just bald everywhere? It's definitely not something I thought about, but probably. Or they're just balding <laughs> on the top. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like a little patch in between, right in the middle, right by where yeah. the tip is at. All right, I'm on it oh. now, right? Right, right, and right. The first thing I see is two of the same picture of Jason Statham, who's a bald man, by the way. Well, Jason Statham's one of the few guys who, like, I feel like if you're bald on top, you have to have a certain facial feature to, like, make it attractive. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get what you mean. Like, if you're bald on top and you have no facial hair, you look fucked. You also notice that, like, it says from. Fred from the Book of Pook. What the fuck does that mean? A guide for vetting women for long-term relationships. <laughs> Hold on. Book of Pook. Dude, there's four volumes. <laughs> Pook man's advice to a suffering newbie. This is... Oh, these are all, like, really short as well. Have you noticed that? I feel like if it's less than 10 minutes, right, then it can't be yeah. that important. Eh? Yeah, you're right, dude. They're, like, five-minute reads. I'm just going to pick a random line out of this because I am male and she is female. She owes me <laughs> sex. That's why. <laughs> she owes me because I mine. have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> you bore me, unleash me. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is like some Fifty Shades of Grey for men. I don't know, dude, because this this feels like it's written by like one of those dudes who wears a trench coat. I've never heard someone use the word alas. The poor male looks around before. I think, you, I think you're right, dude. I think this is Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, for, for boys. I think boys. <laughs> dude, that's sick. Listen to this. Spiky hair, flowers, puffed muscles, poetry, chocolate. He knows. God, who does that remind me of? That just reminds me of Smash Mouth. There you oh, go. yeah. You know he <laughs> exactly. died. Yeah, yeah, I do. Girls want to figure you out to decide what role you will have in their fantasy. If you keep defying the mold they have for you, you will be christened a mystery. I don't know if this is the inner feminist of me, but typically when I'm dating a man, the last thing I want him to be is a mystery to me, but... Yeah, you kind of want to know who they are. You know, want to know exactly who they are. What if they turn out to be a pedo? Well, yeah, no, exactly right, yeah. <laughs> I don't want it to find the mold or break the mold of being a pedo, dude. Do you know what I mean? Like, what if they're either a pedo or, like, a, a serial killer, but you, you're just there for the mystery? You're there for the mystery <laughs> up until you're going to start running your fucking neck free download seven proven tactics to keep a conversation going over text fair enough that is difficult that's hard as hell to keep up but then i like how there's a bullseye bonus of how to get laid fast uncensored <laughs> the uncensored video version oh, dude, it'd, <laughs> it'd be so great it was just him balls deep in some woman <laughs> fucking this looks like the most dodgy pop-up i've ever seen i'm so torn on this because i can't tell if this is like a 15 year old or this is like like an Iranian man in the middle of the desert being like, we must get all of the women. It, it seems something along their lines, doesn't it? Like, I, I just want to know who the fuck actually invests in this other than like 
dude, like young teens. That was me at 13. Easily. <laughs> this was me. This was me. I'm not denying it. I always like to say, dude, if Andrew Tate was around when I was 13, I would be fucked. Absolutely fucked. Man. You know what I mean? Like, you get older and you mature and you, like, realize, oh. But when you're 13 and you're just desperate to get some, you're just like, yeah, it's women owe me sex. Women are there for one thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I nearly broke my desk. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, when you're a teenage boy, you were so desperate to get, like, any woman to touch you or let alone breathe on you. You fall for this so easily. Unbelievably yeah. easily. I could imagine, right, being that young and looking mm. at Andrew Tate like, oh, everyone's telling loads of lies and he's the only one telling the truth. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Especially if you've been trying for ages and, like, completely failing in every regard. And then all of a sudden, here comes this... Bold six foot seven man who knows adult karate and is ripped as shit. Exactly. Like, who are you gonna trust? Yeah, your, your I'm teachers sorry. or some bold yeah. guy that's jacked. The only thing that throws you off with Andrew Tate as a young man is he's got that lisp, and you're a little bit like, okay, I don't know, that's cool. That's because he's from Luton, and all of them cunts have got lisp. Signs she wants you to make a move. It's, it's there twice, actually. I've noticed this a lot with this page. Mm. They seem to spam things twice. Like, I wonder... Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Do you know what we should check before we go any further? Mm -hmm. We should check who's following him. Well, you. So clearly you're into the dark <laughs> psychology. Uh, I need this. Yeah, you need to manipulate <laughs> women. This is something I've noticed with Twitter, and I was meaning to bring this up ages ago in a video, right? What is up with all these people that are paying for Twitter Blue and are also into this sort of psychology stuff? I think it, it it brings like an air of legitimacy to a degree. Like oh, no, should... actually, I think I'm being stupid. I'm I'm on the verified followers only. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it's to trick like guys because I don't know if you see this one that says seduce here today two squirt emojis. Like, yes. A, a ten year old boy's gonna see that and be like, yeah, I want to seduce her, please. Learn seduction and game. Get a girl or many. Or <laughs> <laughs> many is very funny. <laughs> the, all these names though. These are the people that I'd, I'd assume would, would follow this person, you know what I mean? Upskill your life, seduction IQ, seducer today, Mr. Masculinity rediscovered, the it's, man it's, maker. The man maker's <laughs> and, sick, and that's he's, cool. And his profile picture is Jason Statham. <laughs> yeah, but everybody's ultimate sex symbol, Jason fucking Statham. You ever notice that like they don't really pick traditionally handsome men, they always pick like men who are overly masculine? Yeah, men who look like they've had a fight. Yeah, yeah, but they aren't like necessarily attractive. Like Jason Statham, he's he's okay, but he looks a little little messed in the face. This is what I was talking to like my missus about as well, right? You were saying that a lot of people see like pretty boys in there. Yeah, yeah, like e boys. Yeah, yeah. So like a lot of girls find them not as attractive because they're too pretty. That works against yeah. them. So they have to have something about them that makes them look like they've been beat up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's fair, dude. I mean, like I. Dude, this is gonna sound horrible. I don't even know if you could put this in the video. That's the one. Yes, that's the one. I, I don't think I could put that in, but that's the one. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, it's bleep, true. I'll bleep this out and I'll just tell you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. No, I, no, put it in because it sounds like I'm a rapist, dude. <laughs> he might be. And we don't know. No, no, we do know he's not a rapist. <laughs> Stop. Um, um, we, we know very much. I know what I had. Do these things really work? As a man, just do your best. Hit the gym oh. and be in shape. Make a lot yes. of money and you won't have to struggle with this again. Oh, yes. Because that's Dude. what matters. Money Dude, matters. That... Dude, I, I mean, I got to give him credit. Like, uh, not to sound top G or anything. I think the gym is great for confidence in young men. Whether or not you're yeah. trying to get jacked. Like, I know that these psychology guys are, well, dark psychologies always saying to like these young men you've got to um you got to be jacked you got to have money you got to have this you got to have status but just like gym in general is so good for your development mentally and your confidence yeah. i don't like the fact people who are against these type of people you're like your andrew tates or other muscle men in that way it, it's kind of seen as like the sign of toxic masculinity go to the gym it is good for your brain great for yeah. your brain i mean it's a healthy thing but like, it should be yeah. a no-brainer to do the gym if you want to stay in shape right you don't even have to go to a gym just work out if if the girl does not wait for you to call her and calls you first then she's very interested in you what 
Obviously. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's just common sense, is it not? Yeah, that's not dark psychology, dude. You didn't use your wizard magic powers to manipulate her. That's just like normal behavior. For example, she can spontaneously give you two flyers in a nightclub without really explaining anything at the same time in the hope that you will inv invite her with you. Here, it seems like here they're talking about like a woman that's working in a nightclub that's trying to get people in. And they're saying, oh, yeah, if they give you more than one flyer, you're in there, mate. <laughs> Dude, she's just trying to do her job and get out. What do you mean? They get paid, like, via how much they give out. I used to work for a company that delivered food, and I was on the phones. Uh, yeah. And this was, like, pre-Uber Eats, pre-Just Eats, and all that stuff. So, like, you used to get the phone call, and then they would place the order for you and then pick it up. And part of our job was, like, getting the flyers out. So what you would do is you would just, like, give six or eight at a time to a person you knew who happened to be walking by and then you just be done with the job quicker just like give them as many as you possibly can so you haven't got to stand out for ages that's exactly what i used to do like one of my mates would be walking by on the beach and be like oh hey dude here you go and i just gave him like 10 that's like the epitome of being desperate as fuck is that not that's me when i'm 13 that is me <laughs> <laughs> appear mysterious make her curious about me the more curious she gets, the more interesting you appear. Or the more likely you end up in a police van because you're just stalking her in the corner of a club, but yeah. Yeah. What's that mysterious <laughs> pill you've just put in her drink? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll end it there. I think we've had enough dark psychology for one day that you think, Dino? I think so, dude. I think my brain is already starting to lose hair on top of my head. Next video, we're, all, we're both going to come out bald. Fully bald, no eyebrows. Cigars in hand and six ladies on our arms. Six ladies <laughs> a bit much for me, man, dude. Maybe like half a woman. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Goodbye, guys.